I honestly don't know why I didn't do Rakan right after Zaya, but anyway to counter him, pick someone like Lulu who can polymorph him away from charming your entire team, or even ult someone to knock him up in the process. Leona has enough CC to stop him in his tracks no matter how mobile he might be, and Janna can knock the air out of his lungs when he starts speeding. Alistar for his throwback, Karma for her poke, and Morgana for his spell shield make other good counters too. Rakan's passive makes him generate a shield that will regenerate after being damaged, and dealing damage to enemy champions reduces the cooldown of it. His Q is a skill shot that makes him flip an enchanted feather forward and if it strikes an enemy champion then he can heal himself and an ally by coming close to him. His W makes him dash to a target location and after a 1 second delay he'll knock up all enemies standing on top of his platform. His E makes him leap to an ally champion shielding them briefly. He can recast this ability for 5 seconds at no cost even if it is the same target. Finally his ultimate grants him a movement speed boost for 4 seconds and during this time any enemy champion he touches becomes charmed briefly. This is used mainly to clump them all together for a proper knockup so if you notice him using it, stay away from your team, otherwise you'll all get knocked up pretty easily. In terms of spells, like most other supports, he'll either go for Ignite or Exhaust depending on the matchup, and he'll most likely do the same, although Ignite probably works best against him due to his squishiness and heal reduction. As for Power Spikes, like almost all other supports, he can be viable during the entire game due to his utility if played right. He's quite squishy even later in the game, so he'll most likely have more of an impact in the early mid game. Level 2 grants him a proper engaging opportunity, but level 3 is his mobility Power Spike, allowing him to dash and leap a lot. Level 6 is team fight game changer, so be careful about clumping together with your team. Zeke's is pretty good because he is simply dependent on fighting with an ally, and Shirelia allows him to charm your entire team with ease. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, his Q will only heal allies if he hits an enemy champion, and it can be blocked by minions. He can dash away only once with his W, but he needs allied champions to leap with his E. And beware of his ultimate, especially when his flash is up, if you don't want to fall in love with his furry. Ultimately, have fun doing it.